Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize columns in Word and how to only have those columns on one page of your document. So I've just pulled up this document, turned it into a landscape and just put in some random text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to customize columns. So what we need to do is firstly go up to layout, go along to columns, click on the drop down, and then you can select from any number of columns here. You can see you've also got left and right. So let's just select three. Now, as you can see, Word has changed my document, the whole document into three columns. Now, if these columns don't quite suit your needs, you can go back up and go down to more columns. Now, within this dialog box here, you can fully customize your columns. You can obviously change how many you have and you can change that here as well. And then you can also place a line in between your columns. If I check that, you can see in this little preview, I now have lines between my columns. In addition, you can change the width and the spacing of your columns. So if I wanted a slightly bigger gap in my columns, between my columns, I could just click the up arrow and it would change the spacing between my columns. Now, if I wanted to fully customize each column, I'd go down and uncheck this box here. And then I can go ahead and I can increase the width of my first column. And what that will do is decrease the width of my center and right hand column. And then again, I can go ahead and change the spacing if I want to. Then again, I can go back and equalize them if I want to and apply it to the whole document or from this point forward. And that will mean that your columns start from the point where you put your cursor throughout the rest of your document. Then just click OK. And those new changes will be made. So you can see my left hand column here is slightly wider than the other two columns. Now, if I only wanted this to apply to my second page, let's just go back and select one column. Then I'd need to insert a section break, which is really simple. All you do is place your cursor at the bottom of the page before. So I'm going to place my cursor on page one because I want to affect page two. Then I go to breaks, click on the drop down, and here we have section breaks. Then go to next page. Now you can't see it on here, but if I go to the home tab, select this little icon here, you'll be able to see here that it says section break next page. Then I need to go to the end of page two where I want my columns to stop and then allow the rest of my document to only have one column. Place your cursor down at the bottom, go back up to layout, back to breaks, and once again, select section break. And once again, you can see section break at the bottom. So what that's told Word is that this page here is going to be a page all of its own in terms of its formatting. So it's kind of separated this page from the rest of your document. So make sure your cursor is placed within this page. Then go up to columns, click on the drop down, and then go and select how many columns you wish to have. And as you can see, it's only turned the second page into columns. You can go ahead and make the various adjustments. Let's just take out these return keys. And you can just see that section break there as well. So if I go back up to the Home tab and take out these, and you can see that's the way your document will look. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.